Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share with you a little journal that I've just completed. Um, I haven't made one of these for so long. In fact, this would be only the third journal I have ever made and the first small one I've ever made because it only measures six by four, but it's quite chunky and it has three signatures. And the outside cover is made from brown cardboard and then I've gone round the edges with some lace and then I've um, added a picture from Pinterest and I've just mod podged that just to give it a bit of sheen there and then on the back I've added some green paper and another floral cutout and then down the spine I've just added some green and cream seam binding then in the corners I've added some green and some cream flat back pearls and it's all held together with some beige lace. Okay, so the inside cover just has a side pocket made from lace. And here I have a diagonal pocket that I've just trimmed with some lace and a die cut. And in here is just a small envelope made from text paper, uh, some tissue paper, and a little floral cutout. The next page has a side pocket made from text paper and some more floral cutouts and just two little booklets. And then some pages for writing that I've stamped. Uh, a doily which is holding another little um, pocket, a uh, little pocket envelope made from text paper and another floral cutout and some baking paper and I've just gathered up some brown tissue paper here and attached it to the side. Some more pages for journaling that I've stamped. Uh, this is a, another piece of um, baking paper that I've just added some lace and some fibres to and that's the other side of that doily more pages for writing here is a side pocket made from a paper brown paper bag and then I've just made two little envelopes with some floral cutouts And here I've made a pocket from some paper and I've just gone around the edges. Actually, uh, all the pages, I forgot to mention, I've gone around the edges with that distressed ink called um, oh, tea dyed, that's it. And I've done that here and added some text paper and another floral cutout and a little tag made with the same fibres as this, just in the green and the browns. That's the first signature. Second signature has a side pocket, with some lace and a couple of little tags. Um, next page has a side pocket made from a doily, some lace, more fibres and a applique and a little tag. More pages for journaling. A little baking paper pocket that I've edged in some lace. And they added just a couple of little colourful envelopes. And then on the other side of that, I've added another um, a pocket made from some lace and another little booklet. More pages for journaling. And I've made another little pocket from baking paper, which holds a envelope made from text paper and a flower. And on the other side of that, we have a die cut. Some more pages for journaling. And this page has a paper bag um, pocket that I've made. And I've gone over that with some text paper that I've sewn around. And I've added some tissue paper and another floral cutout. And in the back of that is just some more pages that I've stamped for journaling. 
And then the last page of that signature has a, a pocket made from just paper and some text paper. Then I've added another little uh, paper or baking paper pocket. And I've added some a doily over the top of that. And another little floral cutout. And then a few little tags just to pop in there. The next signature has a double pocket made from text paper and another floral cutout, another big tag, and a little tag in the front. Um, some of these I've added lace down the sides as well. And this page has a side pocket made from baking paper. Now all the baking paper in here I would have tea dyed. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. But <laughs> and then I just added a little floral cutout and some little glassine bags with some die cuts on them as well. Then more pages for journaling. Another pocket made from baking paper here. And I've just added some die cuts, some lace, some appliques and just another little envelope. More pages for journaling. This is the other side of that baking paper and I've just made a pocket, added some lace and another cutout and a couple of little envelopes. On the other side of that is some more die cuts, then some more pages for journaling and then this page has another paper bag pocket which I've used text paper again and some baking paper then I've added a an applique, and some lace and some more fibres and in the back of that pocket is just a little booklet made with paper and some baking paper that I've just trimmed with some lace. Then the last page has a diagonal pocket that I've lined, well it's got lace and then I've lined it with some paper and added some fibres and a little applique and another little booklet that I've sewn around the edges and it just has a couple of pages in there some baking paper and then the back cover is the same as the front it just has a lace side pocket yeah, so there it is I mean I really enjoyed making it so I'll definitely be making some more of those but uh, this one here is going out as happy mail to one of my subscribers so I hope she likes it um, so thank you everyone for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye